journalist Martin Sixsmith used to be the BBC's man in Moscow. And Washington. You're depressed. Well, I got the sack. I'm unemployed. Yes, but it wasn't your fault, was it? That's why I'm depressed. What are you working on at the moment? I know this woman. She had a baby when she was a teenager. She's kept it secret for 50 years. You're talking about the human interest story, and that's... I don't do those. Why not? You think I should do a human interest story? Philomena, how are you? I had a hip replacement last year, Martin. Titanium, so it won't rust. Otherwise, I'd have to oil you like the Tin Man. Is that right? Oh, no. He's just joking, Mum. Oh. <laughs> I was going to ask if it would be possible not to use my real name when you write the story. What about Anne Boleyn? That's a lovely letter. Well, somebody had that. Think, we're going to have to use your real name, Philomena. I only want to know if he's all right. Perhaps these older nuns would help us with some of the details. I don't think that's going to be possible. Why not? You're a journalist. I used to be. Martin's a Roman Catholic. Yes. Well, no, I used to be. My guess is that Anthony was adopted and sent to America. I think I would like to go. I'd like to know if Anthony ever thought of me. I've thought of him every day. Should we go for a walk? Or we could watch Big Mama's house. It's about a little black man pretending to be a fat black lady. It looked hilarious, Martin. She told four people today that they were one in a million. What are the chances of that? Oh. What if he died in Vietnam or lived on the street? Or what if he was obese? What makes you think he'd be obese? Because of the size of the portions. That's my Anthony. I met him. Where? At the White House. Dear God, what was he like? And did you remember anything he said? Hello. 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 Might have been high. Oh, Martin. I did not abandon my child. He was taken from me. She's been looking for him. She's spent her whole life trying to find him. I've never been to Mexico, but I believe it's lovely. Apart from the kidnappings. And Frank's diary is about to get the animated treatment. The famous legacy of the young Holocaust victim will be translated to animation by writer and director Ari Foreman. The man behind 2008's Oscar-nominated animated documentary Waltz with Bashir and this year's live-action animation hybrid The Congress. Foreman and his co-producer Diane Albaum have been granted unlimited access to all the archives of the Anne Frank Foundation in Switzerland. Unlike his most recent, decidedly adult features, Foreman plans to keep this adaptation family-oriented for audiences worldwide, saying, bringing the Anne Frank diary to all screens is a fantastic opportunity and challenge. There is a real need for new artistic material to keep the memory alive for younger generations. It will be interesting to see what a visionary director like Foreman will do with such well-traveled material. Thanks for watching. Follow us on Twitter at Film is Now. See you next time.